What employers and employees need to know about CalSaver Retirement Saving Program? Hi everyone, my name is Tan and I'm an independent certified financial planner practitioner at Tan Wealth Management. Clients come to us when they need financial advice such as retirement planning, making their investment more tax efficient, and buying insurance products like life insurance, disability insurance, long-term care insurance, and annuity. Today's educational video is on CalSaver, a California retirement saving program. We are going to start with what employer need to know about CalSaver. What employees need to know about CalSaver. And a real life example, if my mom is eligible for CalSaver, what would I advise her to do? What employer need to know about CalSavers? What is CalSaver? CalSaver is a California retirement saving program. If you have five or more employees, you need to offer a workplace retirement plan or provide access to CalSaver. This is directly from the CalSaver website. State law requires that California employer who don't already offer a employer sponsored retirement plan and who have five or more employees need to sponsor a retirement plan or participate in CalSaver. Employer with at least five employees who don't already offer a workplace retirement plan can register for CalSaver today. It must be registered by the required deadline. Registration deadline, June 30th, 2020. More than 100 employees. June 30th, 2021. More than 50 employees. June 30th, 2022. Five or more employees. COVID-19 message. We are here for you. The registration deadline for employers with more than 100 employees has been moved to September 30th, 2020. Below is a flowchart to determine if you need to register for CalSavers or provide a workplace retirement plan. Please confirm your unique situation with CalSavers. Does the owner have more than four employees and the owner is on the payroll? No. You do not need to register for CalSavers. Yes. Do you already offer a workplace retirement plan? Yes. You do not need to register for CalSavers. No. You need to provide a workplace retirement plan or register for CalSavers. CalSavers frequently ask question. I am the owner and I have four employees. Do I need to register for CalSavers? I call CalSavers at 855-650-6916 and the representative says that if the owner is the, on the payroll, the owner is counted as an employee. Therefore, the employer must register by September 30th, 2020. How can employer register for CalSaver? There are two ways into the program, neither through an employer or by opting in as an individual including self-employed and gig workers. You can register online at calsavers.com. What do employer need to do? One, if the employer is subject to the law, the employer needs to register for CalSavers before the deadline if they don't have a workplace retirement plan. Two, within 30 days, the employer must upload a list of eligible employees. The employer can delegate the task to their staff or external provider. 3. Once the account is set up, the employer has to submit the contribution. The employer also has to continuously add employees when they are eligible and remove employees when they are not eligible. What are the benefits to the employer? Provide a workplace retirement plan to employees. This helps the employer attract and retain employees to the business. According to CalSavers, there are no employer fees and no fiduciary responsibility. Employers serve as a limited role, facilitating the program and submit participating employees' contribution via simple payroll deduction. Employer role, ongoing administrative requirement. Maintain their employee census. Calculate and deduct employees' contribution as part of your existing process. Remit contributions in one transfer per pay period. 
What employers cannot do? Make an employer contribution. Answer questions about program participations refer to the program. Make changes to employees. Account settings refer to the program. Provide investment advice. Encourage or discourage participation. Employer cannot make contribution to employees' accounts. Employers are not permitted to endorse the program or encourage or advise employees on whether to participate, how much, if any, to contrib contribute or provide investment help. What is the cost to the employer? No cost to the employer except for their time for ongoing administrative requirements because employees pay for the cost. The costs are automatically taken out of the employee's account balance. Of course, if the employer pays someone to do the administrative work, there will be a cost to the employer. There is no participation cost to the employer from Cal Savers. What are the employer's liability? When you look at the fine print on the bottom of the page in Cal Savers website, it says, saving through a IRA may not be appropriate for all individuals. Employers do not provide financial advice and employees should not contact an employer for financial advice. Employers should refer all questions about the program to CalSavers. Employers are not liable to decisions employees make pursuant to Section 100034 of the California Government Code. Employers shall not be a fiduciary or considered to be a fiduciary over the California Secure Choice Retirement Saving Trust or the program. An employer shall not bear responsibility for the administrative investment or investment performance of the program. An employer shall not be liable with regards to investment returns, program design, and benefit paid to program participants. Can the employers contribute to CalSavers? The employers can open an account for themselves with CalSavers and contribute to it if they want to. If you are self-employed and don't work for a CalSavers employer, you can now contribute directly. Should you open a CalSavers retirement saving program is the big question. There are other plans such as SEP IRA, Solo 401k, Simple IRA, Defined Benefit Plan, you want to talk to a qualified professional before ma making an informed decision. What employees need to know about CalSaver? What are the options for employees? Opt out of CalSavers. Opt in to CalSavers, open a Roth IRA and contribute to the plan. Opt in to CalSavers, open a traditional IRA and contribute to the plan. This is directly from the CalSavers website. IRA type. Default is Roth IRA allow for penalty-free and tax-free withdrawals of, the con of contribution. Traditional IRA as an elective option. This means you get a Roth IRA when you sign up. You can switch to a traditional IRA by telling CalSavers you want a traditional IRA instead of a Roth IRA. Roth IRA is funding the account with money you already pay taxes on. Therefore, qualified withdrawals in the future are tax-free. Traditional IRA is funding their account with money you have not paid taxes yet. Therefore, withdrawals in the future will be taxable income to you. This is directly from CalSavers. CalSavers accounts are Roth post-tax IRA and those with higher incomes may not be eligible to contribute. If you earn more than the Roth IRA income limits set by the federal government, you may need to opt out of CalSavers. Traditional pre-tax IRA will be available by the end of 2019 allowing for those with higher incomes to participate. Opting in and out of CalSaver. Participation is voluntary. Employees can opt in and opt out of CalSaver at any time by mailing in a form, doing it online, or calling the client service team. After 30 days, if the employees do not opt out, they will be automatically enrolled. If you opt out before the end of the 30-day notification period, 
no payroll deductions will be made on your behalf and your account will not be active. California law requires that CalSavers conduct an open enrollment period once every two years, during which eligible employees that previously opt out of the program shall be reinvited to participate under automatic enrollment and must opt out again if they still do not wish to participate in the program. This means you have to opt out every two years or else you are going to be opt in automatically. What are CalSavers contribution limits? CalSavers follows IRA guidelines. The annual maximum contribution limits are the same as contributing to an IRA, which is $6,000 for 2020 if you are under 50 years old. If you are 50 or older, you can contribute $1,000 more, which is $7,000 total for 2020. If you are contributing $6,000 to CalSavers, you cannot contribute another $6,000 to another IRA because you have reached the annual limit. You can contribute $3,000 to CalSavers and $3,000 to another IRA, but you cannot contribute more than the annual limit. You can contribute more than the annual limit if you want to keep paying the penalty as long as the money is in the account. I won't recommend it. The default settings rate is 5% of your gross pay which is deducted from your paycheck on an after-tax basis. Employees have the options to change the saving rates at any time. The saving rate increases by 1% annually until it reaches 8%. Employees can opt out of the options at any time. Saving is through payroll deduction. What are CalSaver income limits? When investors talk about income limits, they are comparing their modified adjusted gross income with the IRS annual retirement plan contribution limit and phase out table. Can they contribute directly to a Roth IRA or take a tax deduction on the contribution they made on the traditional IRA? The simple answer to this question is to compare your modified adjusted gross income with the IRS annual retirement plan contribution limits and phase out table. The best answer to this question is for the investor to talk to a qualified professional because there are techniques the professional can guide the investor to do to accomplish the investor objectives. Some techniques are backdoor Roth IRA, direct rollover to an employer plan and tax bracket management. What is CalSaver vesting schedule? There is no vesting schedule because the employees contribute to the account and the employer cannot contribute to the employee's account. The employees are 1% invested from day one. What are CalSaver accounts investment options? As of June 2020, there are 12 target retirement funds, one money market fund, one core bond fund, two global equity fund, and one balance fund. That is a total of 17 funds. The default setting is, the first $1,000 will be invested into the CalSaver Money Market Fund. Then anything above $1,000 will be invested in a target retirement fund. You can change the investment if you don't like the default setting. What is a target retirement fund? A target retirement fund is an age-based retirement investment, which means you invest in riskier investments when you're young and the investment gets more conservative as you get older. How much does CalSavers cost? The three main fees are program administrator fee, which goes to the state of California, plus program administrator fee, which goes to the person that administered the plan, plus investment fee that goes to the financial institution that manages the investment, equal to the total fees the employees pay. The total fees range depending on the investment. Some investments have high fees and some investments have low fees. This is directly from CalSaver. The fee is collected in the form of an annual asset base fee of 0.82% to 0.95% depending on your investment choice. This means you will pay between 83 cents and 95 cents per year for every $100 in your account, depending on the investment choice. Fees are automatically taken out of the account balance. Can the employer contribute to the employee's accounts? The employer cannot contribute to the employee's account because if they can, it could make the program subject to the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974, which falls under federal law. Can you name beneficiary on your accounts? 
Once you open your account, you can name beneficiaries. The beneficiaries are the people that will take over your account once you pass away. If you are married, the money will go to your spouse. If the beneficiary is not your spouse, you need your spouse consent to that destination by signing the form and have a notary witness his or her signature. If you are not married and you don't name a beneficiary by the time you are deceased, the money will go to your estate. What does that mean? If you don't name a beneficiary and you will pass away, the court gets to decide who owns your account. Are the account portable? The account is portable, which means you can take it with you when you change jobs. You can also leave the money in the account, transfer or roll it over to another IRA, or request a distribution. Keep in mind, there might be taxes and penalties if you do it wrong. What are account saver distribution rules? Before you make a withdrawal, talk directly to account saver representative and to a qualified professional. You do not want to pay taxes and penalties on the withdrawal amount because you made a mistake. What are CalSaver lawsuits? There are groups that challenge CalSavers and want to know if CalSavers fall under the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974. California states that the program is a state-administered program, not an employer-sponsored program. Is CalSaver a scam? CalSaver is not a scam. It is a state administered retirement saving program. If you are not maxing out your individual retirement account, you should definitely talk to a licensed professional because CalSaver may not be the best option for you. Why? It has a lot to do with the fees that are associated with CalSavers and limited investment option. I look everywhere and I also call CalSavers. There is no place for me to know what the administrative fees are and they won't tell me. I have a feeling it is around 70 cents for every $100. Instead of paying 70 cents in fee, you can use it to invest in the market and have it compound for you. 70 cents is a lot. To put it into perspective, let's say you have $1 million in your IRA. $1 million times 0.007 equals $7,000 in annual fees. If you have $500,000 in your IRA, $500,000 times 0 .007 equals $3,500 in annual fee. Imagine you are paying those fees year after year after year. It can make or break your retirement. My mother. If my mother is eligible for CalSaver, there is no way I will allow her to contribute to CalSaver. Why? Fee and investment selections. Fees. I have a feeling she is going to pay about 70 cents for every $100 in fees. That is a lot when you have thousands of dollars and compounding annually. According to the CalSaver website, you will pay between 83 cents and 95 cents per year for every $100 in your account. There is nothing wrong with paying fees, but what you're getting for the fee matters a lot. My clients pay me a fee and in return, I give them comprehensive financial advice. Just like you pay your CPA to do your taxes or your lawyer for legal advice. Instead of paying fees to the state of California, and to the administrator, invest our money so you can take care of yourself and your family. Investment selection. As of June 2020, there are less than 20 investment options. I did the analysis of the investment in CalSaver. The investments are good, but it is not the best. If you open a Roth IRA directly with a financial institution, you can choose from thousands of investments and you can pick the best of the best. California copied the program from Oregon and the program in Oregon is called Oregon Save. I researched Oregon Save and the fee is about 1%. This fee is collected in the form of an annual asset based fee of approximately 1%. This means you will pay approximately $1 for every $100 in your account. Wow, that is expensive. I see what California is trying to do. They did a good job, but it's not the best for consumer because of the high fees and limited investment selections in the program. 
What they should have done is hire professionals to teach live financial education online and have employer and employees sit through a 90 minute workshop annually. This should be replay of the recording so consumer can watch it anytime they like. Please note that all of my videos, podcasts, and blogs are for educational use only and do not constitute tax, legal, or investment advice. Information may change or update without notice. Consult with a licensed professional regarding your personal circumstances. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is Tan, your trust advisor.